Welcome to the 3 a.m. lowdown. We got news, views, reviews. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello. I hope you and your family and your loved ones are doing extremely well. All right, first story. This is from strangesounds.org. The writer is terrible on this, but I'm going to try and get through it. Pyramids are an ancient energy system built by an advanced civilization from long before what our history tells us. Uh, cultism and all that stuff. Wonderful. Giza was built with granite. All right, skip through. And limestone. Granite came from very far away. We know that. And it's a kind of a question is how they moved it all that ways. And was intentionally imported. Deserts have sandstorms. The wind bombards limestone with highly plus charged sand generating massive amounts of electrostatic energy, which rather than being stationary, like most static, it would instead flow through the limestone because it is a semiconductor, and then it into the conductive granite. Granite is more conductive yet has a plus charge, so it would not build the same level of static charge as the limestone. Limestone also has a level of thermal resistance that would prevent the pyramid from giving off excess heat. In the lower chambers, they supposedly found, they found copper wire, which would channel the energy from the stone into the... Uh, sorry, the ally. You're going to have to read the article. Primitive batteries. The wire isn't necessarily as the granite if sufficiently charges ionizes the air within it would then be used for ionizing the air to create conductive plasma and shooting to the other pyramids with gold caps to conduct the ionic beams it was ancient energy generation system that would send the buildup of energy through the air rather than wires yeah tesla Desert pyramids built out of limestone and granite produced energy and other pyramids would receive the energy this is a system lost to us now, yeah, they keep it from us, but likely would have provided energy in the same way to places all around the world. They measure up to more than 100,000 volts electricity per meter. Sandstorms, that's a lot. Charge your phone no time. This is the only logical conclusion to why man-made these mountains were built, involving significant amount of effort to create. If this were correct, our knowledge of ancient civilizations and the discovery of electricity is completely wrong. Yeah, they feed us garbage. Maybe these relics are from an advanced group long before what our history tells us. All right, and it goes off. The article's done. Links in the description in order. This is from anamoalien.com. March 29th. Briefly, what is the soul and where does it go? <laughs> For many decades, scientists have, scientists have been struggling with the question of existence of the soul, its definition in nature. Theology and philosophy claim the soul exists. Traditional science, <laughs> once again, on the contrary, denies the existence of such phenomena as the soul. Yeah, what they don't understand, they just dismiss. Duncan McDougall established more than 100 years ago that the soul weighs 21 grams, the conclusion he put forward after a series of experiments. The experiment consisted in weighing people during their lifetime and immediately after their death. Thus, he was able to establish that immediately after death, exactly 21 grams of weight from the human body evaporates somewhere. The, also, oh, but the experiment was also carried out on dogs. Their weight during life and after death did not change. Oh, which meant the absence of souls in, in dogs. I want to see my pets in heaven, man. The experiment was 
also however here we go many reputable doctors have denied such results they chalked up the weight loss to fluid excretion when they sweated that's that's bs in the case of dogs everything is just as simple the fact that dogs do not sweat but are cooled by breathing thus the opinions of experts were divided in philosophy and theology the soul is what underlies life it is dependent on the material body of a person a person dies and turns to dust but the soul continues to live for many the soul is the most important part of a person medicine does not give any description of the soul and its exact definition however there is no doubt the soul always been closely connected with the human spirit some people are especially vehement whatever about the existence of the soul they argue that the soul not only exists but does not really die for example the psychologist and philosopher philosopher Raymond Moody experienced a state of near-death experience and claimed to have been in heaven despite brain death. He wrote the book Life After Life, in which he described in detail his experience and the experiences of people who survived near-death experiences. Life After Life sold more than 13 million copies, was translated into a dozen foreign languages, and became an international bestseller which made the subject of NDEs popular and opened the way for many other studies, NDEs, near-death experiences. All right, this is a quickie. I wanted to include it to show that diamonds aren't rare and can be man-made. You can't tell the difference. They're all over the earth, crystals are all over the earth. Diamonds just have an intrinsic value. Let me have a Google say it for you. I looked it up over there. Intrinsic. Okay, baby, thank you. All right, let's get through this. <clears throat> a diamond ring made from ranch dressing is for sale on eBay. This is from NPR, March 14th. Condiment Company, Hidden Ranch Valley, Hidden Valley Ranch, it used to be, created the company in a process that involved heating dry ranch dressing to 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit then crushing it under 400 tons of pressure for months. A condiment company wants you to start associating its dip with the new kind of carrot, the one you wear on your finger. Hidden Valley's created a diamond ring. That Hidden Valley created a diamond ring. A diamond made from ranch dressing. How? Why? The process involved heating dry ranch dressing to 2,500 degrees. Crushing another 400 tons, bids for the two-carat ranch ring have topped $12,000. All right. It's a lot of nonsense, man. I wanted to include it. Okay. Thank you for that one. Next article. Okay, this is a good one. Looks like a weird UFO. They call it a UFO drone now. Oh, boy. All right. This is a strange UFO spotted flying over Blackpool, United Kingdom. This is from the 3rd of July. What the heck? Are they, you know, the published date on this is March 29th, 2022. A year later. Well, almost a year. We're coming up on summer. Um, all right. It's an unknown object filmed over the sky. The footage was recorded year by year. Blah, blah. And let's play the video, okay? Let's do this because I fixed the system to do this. So I'm going to zoom in. So zoom here's out. another strange sighting filmed over Blackpool, UK, and the witness statement goes as follows. I know most aircraft types, but I can't I don't know why they put their logo the unless they own the video. Come up with is, is a large just annoying. Formation of balloons filled with you, know, you pay the videographer. The black bin bags. It has a very sharp shape. Of you don't own though, it otherwise. What are your thoughts? Then he puts into context, I was on Blackpool Beach with a clean group who were conducting a litter pick with a local scout group. I was there as a press photographer getting some drone shots of the event. And this was pointed out to me by a member of the public who suggested that I followed it. It appeared to be balloons on my phone screen, but the 4K footage paints a slightly different picture. The object was about 500 feet. I was flying at 400 feet, which is the default max altitude I've set on the DJI Mini 2, which this was filmed on. I'm a registered drone pilot with more than five years experience. So what are we seeing here? It is a very weird object for okay. a great capture. If this isn't anything... We got the video there. You can watch it. The link is in the description. 
ET drone. Oh boy, I don't know what's up. Looks like people playing games. You know, the simplest explanation is always probably the best one. All right, this is an interesting story. Don't know how true it is, and then kind of get into the CGI aspect in the story. But this is from AlienUFOSightings.com. And it was published on March 28th, 2022. A man recorded a gray alien walking inside a UFO. As you can tell from the title, an amateur recently managed to capture footage of what appears to be a gray alien walking inside its spacecraft. The alien looked exactly like the one from Close Encounters, that's why CGI, and was spotted very close to the set of the movie. This is an old pic. Oh boy. Oh, which led people to believe that the aliens from this movie were CGI to begin with. What? Yeah, aliens from that movie, yes. It came, if that were the case, then they actually snuck real aliens into our media for the longest times now. Brett claimed that this picture was unedited and 100% real. He also stated there's no proof of CGI being used in the movie. You gotta be kidding me. We're hearing this this long away from the, that original movie, Close Encounters? Well, I am. So it definitely could have been the result of a clever ploy by the aliens all along. It helped make us gradually accept the strange look. Then we'd be a lot less scared of them when we do encounter them, more the theory states. Many believe that these aliens were the famous greys all along. Since the creatures from the movie seemed to resemble humans quite a lot in behavior and movement, which was also observed with grey aliens also. A picture on set was taken of what appears to be an alien wearing trousers. Thank you. Which shows us the fact that it wasn't CGI after all. There are plenty of theories around, but from what they, we can tell, this is definitely one of the most likely ones, to say least. Uh, is, it is actually proven, unlike most other theories out there. All right, we're going to see the video at the top of this, I believe. There's a video. And we're going to go full screen on this, so let's click this play button. What's going on, up. guys? Team Paranormal here, back with a brand new video, and today I got something. I'm gonna epic skip forward for you. to it, yeah. There is no Photoshop nor any kind of CGI manipulation in the material, and we're gonna double check that. But at the same time, Brett also claimed that the creature did not look like a human. Maybe it was something related to the government, but who knows? They're claiming it was a gray, but let's not jump to what it was unless we can actually confirm what it is let's continue however a fan came up with an interesting theory uh, he related the creature where, inside the object with the i'm not seeing it man tightly or eat help the channel grow let's get back to the, the pic oh there we go something in the spacecraft pretty cool i've never personally myself seen a sighting like this and i've been in ufology for it years upon years and supposedly this was recorded in 2007 to 2009 between that time era and a lot of people witnessed right, I'm gonna put a still it, picture so in there for you like I did the previous I, you know, UFO I, I think video it's, it's pretty it's cool weird shape craft legit, definitely let's go ahead and apply these filters okay and see let's what we cancel come up you with. and cut the video there all right it's interesting the links in the description I'm gonna put a picture in there still image so you can take a better look at this alien. This is what they're showing it looks like. Okay. All right. I said I was going to get one of these naughty articles in each video. I think this is a doozy. All right. This is from The Sun in the UK. Doctors warn sex lubes could harm your health. But egg whites and other kitchen items are a safest bet. Are the safest bet. Egg whites. Who the hell uses egg whites for lubricant? Go to the kitchen, honey. I want to have a... Yeah. All right. Let's see. Doctors have warned that sex lubes can harm men's sperm. Yes, men are a dying breed. But ingredients in the kitchen cupboard are a safe bet. 
Lubricants are commonplace in the bedroom, but if a couple are trying for a baby, they may want to con reconsider using them. I mean, uh, you don't need really lubricants uh, unless the woman has some kind of issue. Uh, unless they're going to the back door. Lubes can have a negative effect on sperm <laughs> motility. The ability of sperm to swim and may prevent fertilization. It is already known. But the study looked at whether fertility-friendly lubes are a worthwhile as claimed. Fertility lube is specifically designed to help couples who are trying to conceive and markets itself as fertility or sperm-friendly. You know, little guys care really well. I guess it helps. Rather than applying it in the heat of the moment, it is usually inserted into the vagina before sex using an applicator. The study looked at the fertility-friendly lubes Precede and Yes Baby, which both cost less than, I guess, $20 online. Those are British pounds. Precede sold at Boots has been clinically shown to be fertility-friendly lubricant and doesn't harm the spermie, according to the manufacturers, while Yes Baby describes it as sperm-friendly. Researchers from the University of Pretoria in South Africa tested the product on 60 semen samples from men in the country. They added 0 0.5 mil of a fluid to the samples and used microscopic cameras to look at how the sperm behaved. Uh, sperm motility was graded according to the World Health Organization. Have a little marathon of little sperms. All lubricants cause significant reductions in the ability for sperm to travel compared with untreated sperm. Findings published in the International Journey, <laughs> Journal of Gynecology and Obstetricity, whatever. Show. Claims that these lubricants are sperm friendly were refuted by the experiments, the researchers said. After two hours, sperm mixed with pre-seed samples had scores of one movement with no direction. Yeah, they retarded them. Oh, man. Yes, baby, had a score of zero, which meant there was no movement at all. Lead author John Johan Markram said, This study is important because it highlights that the so-called sperm-friendly lubricants may actually hinder normal conception. Yeah, that's what all medications do. It's just hinder men's ability with semen. Astounding ingredients found in the kitchen cupboard worked better than the branded bottles of lube. The researchers also had tested olive oil and egg whites. <laughs> Sounds good, but you, okay. one can only imagine using these in a state of desperation. However, online forums have seen advocates of ingredients like olive oil, butter, and even yogurt as a safer substitute. The study found that olive oil had a sperm motility score of 1, the same as pre-seed. Egg whites had a score of 2, meaning it had sluggish motility. However, this was not any less than the sperm not treated with the lubricant. But sperm was able to keep moving the longest while submerged in egg whites, still holding a score of 1 after 24 hours. But there are risks associated with using foodstuffs as natural lubricant. Oil... Oh, my dear. Oil products can damage condoms. Why? If you're trying to get a woman pregnant, you don't wear a condom. What's the... They just screwed themselves with this whole article. Well, those planning for a baby would not need to worry about. Yeah, no kidding. And there's a lack of information of what could concur, concur, occur in raw egg whites are inserted into the vagina. The vagina is a delicate... A delicate balance of chemicals and using a lubricant with a different pH to the vagina can lead to bacterial infection. All right, the article's there, man. Check it out. Last one for the day. I'm going to try and keep these in 15 minutes. Well, I hope this took your mind off all the static going around. More to come as I get into a routine. Peace, love, and happiness are my wishes for you. You are appreciated here, always. Like, share, and subscribe, please. It helps out a lot. Thank you.